everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips. It is a beautiful Monday morning, kind of chilly, you know, about 40 degrees, but sun's out and the snow is melting. Um, we had spring last week, so now we're back to second winter, if you don't know how Northern Michigan weather works. But I've also found out uh, recently that a saying that I thought was only a Michigan thing is apparently a everywhere thing. So that's, that's I found that very humorous when people say, um, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. I thought that was literally a Michigan only thing, but turns out that's like 48 of the states that actually say that. So that's that was a fun fact. Um, are, is your state one? I don't know how many people I have that watch from out of state, maybe out of country. I don't know, is that a thing that's said in your area as well? Pretty good sales day. Got, uh, I think 11 orders. I don't know, not really sure. Um, first one, I got this uh, probably two weeks ago. I did it in a, a haul video from, uh, I think Salvation Army is where I got it. But it was a bag of Hot Wheels type Matchbox cars. And I priced them out and they were going for all over the place, depending on how good they were, around 10 bucks. So I said, forget it, I'll put them all together. I'll put an okay price on it, you know, mid range and I'm 100% positive they'll sell, and they did. And I got $49.99 for this bag of cars. And I paid $3 for the whole bag, but the bag also had um, some Lego, a Lego piece, and a couple other, you know, nickel or dime stuff where that'll add on another, you know, maybe 10 bucks total. So the whole bag, three bucks into 60 bucks is good stuff. Um, it was Matchbox Super Kings were most of them. I'll actually show you because they were pretty cool. Like this right here. This was my favorite in there, uh, the family wagon. But yeah, Matchbox Super Kings. So they're like a little bigger than regular Matchbox. And then also, the thing I found interesting is they're made in England. If we can see there, possibly. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, nope, probably not. But made in England. And I think that's where they're going. It was sold through the global shipping program. And I think I had noticed it was somewhere in the UK. Really a mix of shipping options today. Yeah, I look pretty tired. I need to get some more sleep. I got one going through the global shipping program. One drop shipper, which I, I love drop shippers. I got no problem against them as long as they're buying my stuff. I don't, I do not care. And then uh, one, this is pretty funny. I got a APO FPO, which is a, is military bases, either um, a ship or whatever, army base, whatever. And why that's funny is literally yesterday, someone messaged on a video from a couple months ago uh, hey, did you ever find a better way to do APO, FPO? And since I made the video two months ago, I haven't had another one. And then they said it, and then it was like an hour later, the sale popped and, and it was to an APO, FPO, which th I did not find a better way was my answer I gave to the viewer. Uh, I don't recall their name offhand. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't find a better way. The best way I found was to box it up, take it to the post office, fill out the form while you're there. You can just get the form and bring it home with you, but I'd rather just have somebody who knows, hey, put this number here, do this, do this, and just deal with it. And so there wasn't a cheaper option, but I don't care. Uh, for how few of them I ship out, that does not matter to me. Quick interruption from future Smarter Drew. Uh, I was about to pack up the keyboard, the APO FPO shipped keyboard, and either there's one of two options happen one i didn't pay attention or didn't try hard enough last time i don't think that's what it was i don't remember exactly when i went to ship out an apo fpo order order um or the second option which i think is more likely and seems accurate is they updated uh shipping in ebay to accept apo fpo forms so I, as I scroll down out of curiosity, I see that now you can fill out a customs form on eBay. So I went back and looked, uh, OBG was the viewer that had the question, what you would do, the best way to ship APO, FPO is just your, you have to have it selected as a shipping option. So of course you won't sell something APO, FPO if 
you don't have it as a shipping option. And then when you go to print your shipping, you just, let me get information out of here. You just scroll down from your normal uh, shipping options, okay? And once you get down there, you see that there is a customs form to fill out. So you just follow the step-by-step -step instructions to fill out the customs form, and you should be able to print your label normally. If that doesn't work out, I'll update. All right, next thing we got is a Kodak 4 megabyte. The garage is a mess right now. Uh, let's see, I know it's in here. There we go. Kodak, four megabyte, um, come on now, SD card for a camera. And the, if you remember from a few videos back, uh, the camera was junk because I the even if it worked, the, the battery door was broken and it was only worth like 20 bucks tops and there was like 40 listed. So I just parted out all the things and now I've sold the SD card and uh, one of the cords from it and I got $8.99 free shipping for that. So already I made, I've made more money, I think, than I would have, or very close to how much money I would have made uh, with selling the whole camera with the box and everything. And then shipping would have been ridiculous and it would have sat forever. So I'm pleased with how that worked out. Uh, after that, we have Vintage 4 Tupperware number 107. I have to double check which shelf because I have more than one set. It is on B4. There we go, B4. I was, I had listed one group that was like the, you know, the whole spread of the color scheme. And then I was like, okay, I'll wait till I get a couple others so I can match them up better. But the price difference between having like the perfect set and not the perfect set wasn't enough to sit on them. So I ended up listing the ones I had left. And that was $8.99 plus shipping. Next up, haven't sold something like this in a while, and I'm going to correct that, and I'll tell you how. It's a Sony SLV-N51, which uh, I think is this one down here, but it might not be, and I'm not going to dig it out right now because clearly I have a bunch of stuff in the way. Um, but it's a forehead hi-fi uh, VHS player, VCR, and that was $58.49 plus shipping. And how I'm going to correct how I haven't been selling a lot of electronics is I'm going to list a lot more electronics. Um, all of these things are either being listed or recycled today. Um, I had a few in storage. I picked up a couple more while sourcing last week and I'm gonna pack these shelves up today. And also because I have to take tomorrow off, which is why the garage is a mess, because finally this monstrosity, monstrosity, not monstrosity, it's not the monsters, it's the monsters, uh, is coming out and a regular door is being put in. And if everything works out, that's only gonna take one day. If it takes two days, then, you know, got problems but tomorrow i'm just gonna take i'm gonna work late tonight i'm gonna take the day off tomorrow well take the day off people you if you are a reseller or someone who owns your own business you know taking days off doesn't actually exist so by taking a day off i mean i'm gonna file my taxes so fun <laughs> vacation uh let's see Maybe I'll order out some, some takeout and then it'll feel like I took the day off or something. I don't know. And the kids are home on spring spring break, which again, there's snow on the ground. Uh, let's see. Next thing up is a Treasure Garden CP902. I'm glad to see some of these finally moving. It was pretty slow for a while there, of course, out of season. It's an umbrella cover, so you could see why that wouldn't be very useful for a lot of the months of the year. But CP902, I actually found when I was listing these, I thought these specific ones, the umbrella covers, were going to cost more in shipping than they actually have been. So I might go in and tinker with the price a little bit just to try to move some out of here. But I did take about half of them and take them out to storage because there was no reason for me to have 40 of them sitting around when I sell like 
one every two weeks. So that didn't make sense anymore. But $23.39 plus shipping right there. Uh, next up, this is the drop shipper one. And how do I know it's a drop shipper? Because they left me a note and it said, please don't put in a invoice. Uh, please make sure it's clean. It's, it's just pretty common. Lots of times they'll say it's a birthday gift, so don't leave a receipt in there, which is a lie. I mean, I wouldn't care if they were like, hey, I'm a drop shipper, please don't put a receipt in here. I'd go, okay, no problem. Thank you for your purchase. It's still a purchase as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that is in um, not that bag, this bag, this bag of remotes right there. I don't need to pull it out right now, but it is a black RCA TV satellite cable universal remote of some kind, something like that. But $8 free shipping for that one. Took an offer on that. And it of course doesn't appear like I'm running low on remotes because I have this bag, the one I just pulled and one more bag, but sales on them have slowed down. So I actually have been, I've been looking, I have found zero more. So I don't know if other people decided to start picking them up or just donations haven't involved remotes lately. I don't know. But speaking of donations, I don't, my girlfriend pointed out that I might be going on a few too many rants, but anybody that actually knows me in real life, that's just, that's kind of how I am. I, I'll go off on a tangent and I, I get very, uh, I don't want to say emotional, but I get, you know, if I, if I have feelings about something, I have strong feelings about something. So call it a rant if you want, but Goodwill, I, even as I'm saying it, I know it's not true, but I might stop going to Goodwill. They have priced themselves, my Goodwill in my town. We have one. I don't, the next closest town to source for is 45 minutes away. So for me to drive an hour and a half round trip, it almost never makes sense unless it's garage sales. Cause then, you know, I could hit 20 garage sales in the neighboring town or something, or many in between. But to go to another Goodwill, I that's too far away. It doesn't make any sense. But in my Goodwill specifically, they've A, raised prices. They've B, been sending stock to other Goodwills in order to keep their shelves full and our shelves empty. And C, I was in there last week and I could just hear clattering, clanging, glass noises and stuff in the aisle over. And I'm like, oh, well, I haven't got to that aisle. So I, ma'am, they must be putting out a bunch of stuff or something. And no, that's not what they were doing. I overheard their conversation and they were pulling stuff out to throw in the trash. So you are donating your goods to the Goodwill. They are throwing them away. So I'm not saying that's all Goodwills. I have heard that there are better ones. And then I did a little research because I didn't want to just start bad mouthing Goodwill, you know, without any knowledge and they are broken up into like regions where the decisions are uh decompartmentalized so that probably so that they can pass the blame instead of it being the corporation's fault it can be each individual one's fault but there was a lot i found there was a lot of like embezzlement and people uh making crazy amounts of money and a lot of uh there's like a special employment thing where you, if you hire people with special needs, you can pay them below minimum wage. And so I guess a lot of them have been capitalizing on that. A lot of stuff that just seems shady, but is apparently all legal. So whatever, that is that is what it is. But the throwing stuff away, that drives me crazy because they don't do discount days anymore, which they used to do like, it was pink tag day. So everything with a pink tag is half off. So instead of just doing that to clear out old stock, they've decided it's less effort or cost them less money, I guess, or it's a tax write-off or whatever the reason is, they decide they'll just throw it away. So here's a little thought. I'm not telling you to do however you wanna do your life, but if I have things to donate, I will for sure be trying every other option before I drop it off a Goodwill. Basically, I'll drop it off a Goodwill if the next stop is a trash because then I have, I'm have, i okay with the fact that they'll probably throw it away because I was probably gonna throw it away. But that's my little tangent there. Uh, how do you feel about it? How is the Goodwill in your area? Please let me know. Am I being ridiculous? Should I just be thankful that I have a Goodwill? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get out much. I don't talk to other people very often anymore because 
you know, socializing has been cut to a minimum. Uh, so let me know, let me know how you feel. Next thing up, we have a Corningware wild wild not wildfire uh, wildflower one pint saucepan, and I think that says old system. No, nope, that's in the new system. Great, A B C four. Oh yeah. Knowing where stuff sat is awesome. Uh, that right there, I took a very low ball offer on that. Um, I didn't even counter it because it's not a great pattern. And I have another wildflower that's been sitting around for nine months. I said, let's just get this out of here. I need more room for better things. And at five bucks plus shipping. I probably paid three, if I had to guess three. So not, not really making any money, but I don't mind it being gone. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Then this is the first of these I've sold. I got these in the mystery box. I got from WBK Ultra. They are, um, you'll see the picture on the screen, but it's a, like a grill and cast iron cleaning kit type of thing. They're pretty, I mean, as far as cleaning kits that you get, that one is of course, direct from China, no frills, no, no instructions, no color packaging, but it's identical to the one you would buy at Walmart. So uh, $13.49 plus shipping there. Actually, I'm sorry, that's free shipping. But that box, I have already made my money back. The one big money maker ended up being broken. So that was a real bummer, which would have taken it from being a okay to a good mystery box. So I don't think he was aware that that was the case, but because if he was, that's very shady. Um, but I'm assuming he did. Probably just didn't test it. Then we have a set of cassettes, uh, took an offer, Time Life Classic Country. Oh, that's probably in a box because there was a lot of them. It's gonna be the one on the bottom, I know it. I know it is. The most inconvenient one to get to, I bet you is what it is. There we go. Cassettes, a set of Time Life Classic Country uh, cassettes. Fifteen dollars uh, plus shipping, so that's cool. Then I have a antique vintage hickory shaft smooth face. Now I'm going off mem memory. Um, I think it's a Wilson putter, which is this right here. Smooth face, yep. The sinker is what it's called, and it's a hickory shaft. Um, that'll actually be fairly easy to ship because I think that will fit in one of the priority. <laughs> Camera work is hard. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. There. <laughs> uh, one of those priority tube mailers, which is a prism, not a tube. Uh, and then this is the one that's going to the uh, APO uh, box office. And what you'll see, if I can cover up people's information, what you'll see is it says error. And what that error is, is um, it's telling me that uh, I don't have the customs form filled out for it, which I don't think you can do through eBay. I haven't gone any more in depth because like I said, it happens so few, uh, so so far in between them that I'm just gonna take them to the, box it up, take the post office and fill it out while I'm there. Easy peasy. But it is a Logitech K350 um, ergonomic style keyboard. It's new open box. Um, right there. I almost kept that for myself, but it's it's cordless without a corded option. And I don't want to be buying batteries. I don't I don't need to be able to move around. I don't need a lounge and a lounge chair while I'm typing on the computer. Uh, and that was fourteen dollars plus shipping. That was definitely below what I wanted to accept for it. But I saw that it was a APO address, and I said, yeah, nope. You get, you get bonus discount for being possibly a service person because you they might not be uh, a service man or woman. They might just live on base or 
um, they might be, what do they call them? Uh, people who work on base, but civilian something or other. Um, but you work on the on a base, live on a base, but you don't, you don't, you're not actually a service man or woman. But either way, I said, eh, whatever. Get it out of here. 14 bucks, take it. Uh, I paid, I think I paid five bucks for it. I, and I paid more than I normally would for a keyboard, but only because I thought I was going to use it. And I ended up deciding that, no, I just want a standard regular keyboard that plugs in because I don't want to pay for more batteries for things that I already do, which is a lot. Well, I'm going to get these packed up. Two things before I go. Uh, we're at about 160 subscribers last time I checked, and that is awesome. It's going in the right direction, not down, adding subscribers regularly. I would like to increase how often, though, and I thought, well, what do I do? i doing the best I can on making videos, but maybe I can offer something to get people to subscribe, because I noticed that 33%, that is one third, if you're good at math, of people um, that watch my videos are not subscribed, which that's fine, but let me offer a little incentive. Incentive number one to subscribe to Tip of the Mitt Flips is if by this, uh, let's see, it is Monday, let me double check the date. It is Monday, March 29th. If by, uh, let's see, Saturday, April 3rd at midnight, we reach at Tip of the Mip Flips 200 subscribers. I will cut this gloriousness, this floof back here, into a glorious flowing mullet. That is up to you to make that happen. I will, I will don it. Is that how you don it? When you don something, you have something. I will wear it proudly. There we go. I don't need to be fancy with my words. I will wear it proudly for a extended period of time, probably a month, depending on how much I like it. It's starting to thin on the top, so anything above a Bruce Willis buzz cut just doesn't really look good anymore. Um, and Rogaine's expensive, so I'm gonna pass on that option. Um, that is number one thing I'm offering, and that is by the end of this week, okay? Um, the next thing, and this will be a continuous thing, is at every 100 subscribers, ooh, stand in front of the heater, I am boiling. Um, every hundred subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. The giveaways will start fairly modest because I live fairly modestly and I don't have a lot to give away, but I figure why not? You're taking your time out of your day to watch what I do. I can give back a little something. So what I'll do, uh, starting is every hundred subscribers, I will give a $10 coupon code to my eBay store. Um, and as you know, if, if subscribers eventually reach a higher number, you know, if we, if we hit that big number, that 1000 subscribers, I'll, I'll bump that up to a higher amount, you know, as I can afford it, or as if the channel at some point monetizes and it pays for it, then of course I'll give some of that back like that. That only seems obvious to me. Um, so yeah, a $10 coupon code. And this very first one at 200 will be a $20 coupon code because I didn't do it for the first hundred. So I don't wanna be, you know, chastised for skipping out on the thing. How dare you, Drew, you said every hundred, we're at 200. I don't remember the first, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, so this very first one, when we hit 200 subscribers, we'll get $20, we'll do a $20 uh, coupon code giveaway to Store, which is tip of the mid flips if you didn't know and there is a link in the description to my store but that's gonna be all for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down subscribe share and be good to each other